Jamie are scratching their head right now. <laughs> and please do, please do not so penalize that's question, question everything. Please, including yourself, including myself. The more you question, the more it's going to present for you. Question and put it forth to show me. Show me what is. Show me how much more there truly is to be offered. Because really, you know, there's all these perceptions that you're the creator of your universe and so forth and so forth and so forth. Uh -huh. That's true to a certain degree. It's so brilliant, even as a wake up call and so forth. <laughs> but let's be clear on this for a second. You have began and you have been for eons, karmically included, being a creator of your universe from a head level that's that big. Now, this whole wall is pretty darn large. Speaking of the whole universe, and you took off the ceiling and the floor, well, that's really large. But that size is you. This right here, it's a tiny little facet called an analyzer. And from this little analyzer, being that of the mental level, look at how much is missed with everything else. <laughs> and this is what our mind is doing? Uh -huh. The analyzer. And my head can create. So I can create anything and everything. But why would we want a little filter called an analyzer can only create <laughs> what has ever seen take place in a body on a planet when you're asking for so much more to present and take place that the mind levels never experienced in a body on a planet, even from first separation to now. Mm -hmm. Mind is not a bad thing. It's great. It does serve a great purpose, but not when it became the master. When it became the master, now we started to talk about confinement mm. and being afraid of oneself. Then this little part began to become this large, this large and that large. The truth is just that small anyways. So what's left over when the mind loses control? You are. And what are we? Your pure divine consciousness, pure particles of clear, pristine particles of light. In average, 4,968,498,648,498 particles floating around in one physical form. And that's before you even start expanding, even affecting the cellular molecules in the universe within the universe within every cellular molecule that even makes up the nucleus of the cells. Because when you go through one certain cell, you'll find eons and eons of universes within universes within one little amoeba, one little nucleus of a cell. And now we have your true presence, a re-arising, not like the presence you read in books and so forth, your true presence that, that is going right through your own life stream. It's also going through your realms of light, your realms of gold to let your whole outside world becoming demagnetized from a planetary grid system, even from cosmic lattice works, becoming completely free from the astral planes of consciousness to where your whole world, your whole life stream, your whole universality states becomes fully, completely available for you and around you within every single particle of your being, the crystalline matrix of your physical form also from total creator consciousness that you are, that you've always been, begins to activate, activate, reactivate, and amplify, constantly regenerating itself in your image rather than the image that was brought up through from a genetic format. <laughs> oh, is that all? Well, that's just, that's just beginning. That's just scratching the surface on that one. You've given the go-ahead, so have you. So bring it on, let's have a blast.